بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Indeed, uh, we are all uh, thankful that we have witnessed a new day. Uh, this is the uh, blessing of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that we are, inshallah, going to start this program. Uh, this is the Sira conference that is uh, organized by the uh, Ikna Tarbiya Department. Uh, the theme of the of this uh, uh, would be the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent with a mission. So, so wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Doctor Siddiqui. Inshallah, uh, we'll start without any further delay. I'll just introduce yourself. Mashallah, you need no introduction, but as a, as a, I guess a ritual, I'll still go through it. Uh, Doctor Muzammil Siddiqui uh, has been an Imam since eighties at the uh, Islamic Society of Orange County is also the chair of Fiqh Council of North America, and uh, and the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California. He's been the pre he was president of ISNA, uh, Islamic Society of North America, from 1996 through 2000. Uh, and he's also a graduate of the Islamic University in Medina, and also a graduate from Harvard University. So, without further delay, inshallah, I'll ask Dr. Siddiqui to you know, go with this topic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa manwala. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasrili amri wa hiru luqdatan min lisani yafqaw qawli. Thank you very much for inviting me for this uh, important conference on the seer of the Prophet May Allah SWT bless all of us who are gathered and also protect us from this epidemic that is all over. May Allah SWT keep us on the right path. Allah SWT says in the Quran about the Prophet وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We did not send you except as rahmah for the words. And Allah SWT says in Surah At-Tawbah لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيثٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمِ Indeed, there has come to you a messenger from among yourselves it is hard upon him that you suffer and he's anxious for your welfare and he is kind and compassionate towards the believers. Rasulullah was the mercy of Allah towards the whole world, towards all people. But his mercy and his compassion and kindness are especially for the believers. And that's why the believers, they love him and they are united in his love. The, for the Ummah, the love of Muhammad Wasallam, you will find that everywhere, from the very beginning, during the time when the people are with the Prophet Wasallam, and up to now, almost 1500 years later, all Muslims, of all races, of all colors, of all different backgrounds and schools of thoughts. You ask them about the love of the Prophet ﷺ, they are all unanimous. Love of the Prophet ﷺ is deep in our heart. His love unites us. And we have to really maintain that. We should thank Allah that we have the love of His Prophet in our heart love of Allah and love of the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ali radiallahu an, he described the Prophet sallallahu and in one short statement he said, man ra'ahu badihatan haba wa man ra'ahu ma'rifatan ahabba whosoever saw him suddenly was overwhelmed by him. And whosoever saw him 
with knowledge, with acquaintance, loved him. The more you love the Prophet Sallallahu the more you know the Prophet Sallallahu the more you will love him. The Sahaba, they loved him, they respected him. There is actually, there is no one, no prophet, no leader, was ever loved as much and as respected as much as the Prophet ﷺ was loved and respected by his followers. At the time of Hudaybiyah, when the negotiation was taking place, between the Quraysh of Mecca, who were non-believers at that time, and the Prophet ﷺ, Urwa ibn Mas'ud Saqafi came for the negotiations. And when he returned, after seeing the Prophet ﷺ and his companions, he said to the people, people, I have visited kings and leaders. I met the Byzantine rulers. I met the Iranian rulers. I met the rulers of Habasha, Abyssinia. But there is no one I saw is respected and honored by his followers as much as Muhammad's followers are doing to Muhammad Sallallahu when he speaks, they listen. When he tells them to do something, they do it. That is the kind of love, respect, and honor that the Sahaba had. You have another story from the time of Uhud, the Battle of Uhud, when the people of Mecca attacked Medina. And Rasulullah asked the Sahaba to go and defend the city. And he was with them. A woman from among the Ansar, her husband, her father, her brother, they all went to participate in this battle to defend the Prophet and Islam. And it was a fierce battle. A number of people from the Muslim side were killed. Then someone came to her and told her, that your husband is killed. And then she received the news that her brother was killed. And then she received the news that her father was killed. But she asked, Ma fa'ala Rasulullah? How is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And they said, Rasulullah is okay. She said, I want to see him. And when she saw Rasulullah from a distance, she said, Kullu musibatin ba'daka jalali ya Rasulullah. Every difficulty, every pain, every suffering is easy as long as I have seen you, O Messenger of Allah. That was the love that people had for the Prophet And this is because of his personality, because of his care and compassion towards his people, and also because of his message. So we are united because of, he is a symbol of our unity, because of his personality, because of his message, his mission. His personality was a kind personality, a loving personality. We know more about him than we know many other, about many other leaders. Every aspect of his life is known. And his life was a comprehensive life. He was a prophet, a teacher, a preacher, an imam, a leader. But he was also a family man, a husband, a father, a grandfather. He was a good neighbor. He was also commander of the armies. He was a statesman. Every aspect of life, whatever aspect of life he lived, he was perfect. 
His life was the life of perfection, the life of goodness. And Rasulullah emphasized very much that people be united, his followers be united. He recited to them the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah describes how they were living before Islam, how they were living before the guidance and teachings of Rasulullah and what happened after them. Muskuru ni'matullahi alaykum is kuntum ada and for Allah for bayna kulubikum for aspahtum bin yamati ikhwana. And remember Allah's favor upon you that ye were enemies to each other and by his blessing you became the brothers. For aspahtum bin yamati ikhwana. And emphasize, اعتصموا بحب لله جميعا ولا تفرقوا. Hold fast all of you the rope of Allah. And be not divided. Rasulullah used to emphasize very much that people be united. So unity was in his life and unity was in his message. He emphasized that the followers care for each other. Al Muslim al Muslim la yazlimuhu wa la yakzuluhu wa la yakzibuhu wa la yahkaruhu. The Prophet said, Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. He does not do wrong to him. He does not abandon him. He does not lie to him. He does not contempt him. That is, he wanted his community to be. And be together. Al Muslim al Muslim, Kal Jasad al Wahid, a Muslim to another Muslim, a Mu'min to another Mu'min, is like one body. If one part of the body has pain, the whole body suffers with pain. You are to each other like the bricks are for a building. Each one is supporting the other. Do not fight among yourselves. Do not divide yourselves. So his message is the message of unity, unity of the Ummah. Ummah should be together from whatever race, from whatever family, from whatever tribe they are, they all should be together. And they all should work together for a good cause that you invite people towards the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you become the role models. And Rasulullah wanted to see the whole world come together. All people become united. So he is not a symbol of unity for Muslims. Actually, he should be the symbol of unity. He should be recognized as a symbol of unity for the whole world. Because his message is a universal message. Rasulullah was the messenger of Allah towards all people. And his message is for all people. He emphasized that all human beings are brothers and they are from the same family. We made you from one single parent. And then we made you nations and tribes so that you may know each other. The Prophet ﷺ emphasized, All people come from Adam. And Adam was made from dust. There is no superiority for an Arab over a non-Arab. For a non-Arab over an Arab. There is no supremacy of a white person over a black person and a black person over a white person. Kullukum li Adam. And Nasu Sawasiya, people are equal. And justice must be done to all people. Justice even to those who oppose you, who hold you as enemies, even to them. لا يجرمنكم شنعان قوم على الله تعدلوا 
let not the animosity of some people towards you excite you to do injustice do justice that is closer to piety and care for everyone he says that iman faith has many branches the highest branch is la ilaha illallah but then removing the obstacles from the road is also a part of faith remove the obstacles from the road from for everyone human beings the animals muslims non muslims everyone so message of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the message of unity if people follow that the message of tawhid there is only one god recognize one god believe in him he is the lord of all people it is not as our god is one and somebody else god is another and there are many gods no there is only one god for all people so emphasize tawhid and wahda the real unity comes from tawhid when you recognize that there is only one god and who is the creator and the master and the lord of the universe created all of us then you can also recognize that all people are creation of allah and not only human beings but also care for the environment care for the animals care for the resources so unity comes through this message that's why we say that he is the symbol of unity his message is the message of unity in his personality in his own life he tried to unite people a single person stood in arabia that was divided in tribes there was no central government and within a short period of time he united the families united the tribes together established one system gave them a deen a religion a book a civilization a culture a government a state all of these things occurred so he we united them that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says iskuntum adaan fa allafa bayna qulubikum fa asbahtum bi ni'matihi ikhwana so this unity came through his personality through his life through his teachings and through his uh, role model through his example if we want to have unity ourselves then we all to follow that path the umma must follow that path first and become example for others we should respect the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should honor the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and those who dishonor him those who misrepresent him we should defend the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should speak correct other people but we should do that with wisdom we should do that in the right way so that the message reaches to others the good deeds and bad deeds are not equal remove the bad with good deeds la tastawil hasanatu wala sayyi'a idfa' billati hi ahsan fa idha alladhi baynaka wa baynahu adawa ka'annahu waliyun hamim so those who are enemies they will become friends and this is the way of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to make the enemies friends and there are many people who misunderstand the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam misunderstand islam and it is important that we should correct them and we should not let them do not give them a chance to misrepresent islam more so when we defend the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should defend him in the right way in a good way because his honor is our honor his respect is our respect we we love him more than ourselves our families our children our parents everyone and this love must manifest in the right way qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah say if you love allah then follow me and allah will love you so ittiba of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will bring the love of allah and ittiba of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will love bring us closer to him and in this way there is success for us as well as the success for our communities 
and inshallah it will bring success to the humanity peace and justice in the world i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to understand him and study his life and live according to his teachings wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Jazakallah, Dr. Siddiqui, and uh, we know that you uh, today is an auspicious day, and your granddaughter is getting married. So uh, uh, we congratulate you on that, and uh, on behalf of Ikna family, then we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to bless this occasion, and inshallah, you know, make this union a very happy union in this dunya and also in our Inshallah. I mean, Jazakumullah khair, shukran. I just want one quick question. Uh, you were talking about the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That his mission was to unite the whole world, and that uh, uh, there is a there is a question from uh, one of our viewers. Uh, it's about how do we uh, bring the new Muslims into this? Because we know that we have Muslim people who come from another religion and they become Muslims. How do we apply this uh, this uh, concept of unification to the new Muslims. Where is a very beautiful example that we have <clears throat> from the Prophet ﷺ is the example of uh, Muakhat. Although it was between the Muhajirin and Ansar, but uh, we can take it in a similar way. That is, uh, the person who is accepting Islam is almost he's like a Muhajir. You can al Muhajir mm -hmm. man Hajir man Allah wa Mm -hmm. Muhajir is the person who uh, leaves things that Allah has forbidden. So this person has left the life of kufr, the life of disbelief, and came into the life of Iman. And uh, those who are Muslims, they should take that person and consider them as a brother. So muakhat should take place. Mm -hmm. Not only just communities should know community, but I think individuals should adopt those people and make them as part of their family and yes. come closer to them so they don't feel that they are because they are they are making a big change. A transformation is taking place. Right. The community should be welcoming them and adopting them. Adopting not and of course maybe not a right word, but uh, they are brothers. Muakhat is a is, is a good word. Is, is a proper word. So we become brothers, and here the brothers is that support them, see what are their needs. If they need some financial help, provide financial help for them. If they need social help, some other help, provide for that. In this way, the community will grow and become a better community, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair, and again for your time.